Hello everyone, I see you found me in my new base and uh, in my new threads actually. I have a wonderful announcement, I've decided to be Amish, that's right, I am now the Amish Koala. Come on, uh, I'll go ahead and we'll take a look around and we'll walk and talk, just follow me down, let's go. Okay, so um, <clears throat> you can see I set up shop here in one of these uh, Thomic bases. You can look in this chest here. See kind of the stuff I picked up along the way over here. I ran into a couple of villages, a couple of those Thomic things. Um, actually, I need to come back up here. Grab the iron sword I looted, and... Let's grab some wheat to make to make some bread. I actually haven't been here very long, so I haven't set up much of a shop. This is just kind of a temporary base. There we go. Eight pieces of bread. That'll be good. So we'll just come on down here. And um, you can see I have... A nice village sorted out and I've kind of locked up a bunch of the important villagers there were actually strangely enough two th uh, Thomic villagers I th think you saw one running around in the beginning <clears throat> but there's also one locked away in a house here somewhere um, don't remember which house it is but at some point I'll free them and uh, it'll be a nice existence but I've decided to set up in this beautiful plane here because, well more this way because there's that ugly rock, red rock, oh geez, ugly red rock biome over there. But yeah, so more in this direction I've decided I'm going to set up shop as the Amish Koala. And I think one of the important things we need to talk about is what exactly being an Amish Koala is in terms of this series. I'm not going to be Omnish in the sense that I am going to... I need to gather all this stuff. I'm not going to be Omnish in the sense where I'm going to completely ignore the existence of technology. Uh, because that'd actually just be kind of silly. Um, what I'm thinking about doing as the Amish Koala is... <clears throat> I want to ignore high-level technology such as, you know, power suits, um, there's power suits, there's ultimate solar panels, there's all that crazy stuff you can get into. And I have, I don't know, what was it, a year and a half ago, I think it was, I started playing Tech It. And so I've been doing the industrial craft, you know, build the most efficient, best factory you can thing. I've been doing that for quite some time. And I feel like I, as not, not just a YouTuber, but as a player of the game, I want to do something different. I want to change it up, do something that's going to be fun, new, entertaining, and so what I've decided to do is... Uh, the Zomish Koala thing. So I'm going to take a much more low-tech approach to the game. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of forestry stuff. Any machines I'm using will most likely be some sort of build craft machine, such as um, uh, thermal expansion machines might be something I could use you know, have them auto-output to a chest, but not auto-everything. So I'm going to stay away from building any sort of massive sorting system. Just the kind of stuff you are used to. Or, well, just the kind of stuff that comes standard in a Feed the Beast type playthrough. And I'm going to continue harvesting crops, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so plenty of crops from that. Just uh, put them away here. There we go. Oh, wait, no, I want my bread. Okay, there we are. So, <clears throat> um, with all the forestry stuff we're going to be doing, 
There's going to be a lot of bee business. I'm really excited. A low-tech playthrough gives me the perfect opportunity to be playing with bees. And it looks like the sun is setting on our beautiful scene. Hmm. So, we will have to, um, not get all of our villagers killed. Let's go. Alright, there we go. I just logged out really quickly because there were other people online. Hey look, there's one of the uh, Thomas guys. You know what, we should try. We should try to get him in a house so we can preserve his life. Um, is there a way to get villagers to follow you? Or, well... Can't even push him. Mmm, this might be difficult. Alright, we got a bit of a downpour now, but I fixed the lag issues, and we're going to try to get this guy into a house. He sure loves to run, so let's see exactly if we can push him into a building. Is he be quite valuable to us later if I can move him? Don't don't make me do it. What are you doing? Where are you going? There's nothing up there for you. Maybe okay. Maybe I should just follow him around. And maybe he'll walk into a house and then I can lock him up once he's in a house. Go go in there. You should go, walk into that house. It's a good idea. You'll love it. I promise. No, dang it! Gah. So close. Okay. Um, come on. Just follow you around. We got this. Come on. Come, come on, buddy. I, I promise you'll love it. It's a nice, comfortable place. You're just going to keep walking in this circle forever? What is wrong with you? So, yeah, he's doing the same thing over again. What the heck? Yeah, no, go, go, go check that. Yep. 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 There we go. Okay, we've secured the Thomic Villager, and there's another one locked up here somewhere, but uh, yeah. We also have one or two Mistcraft Villagers. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so... <clears throat> we're going to need a lot of wood, and one of the downsides of these meadows is there aren't a whole ton of trees. While there's a decent amount, there's not a bajillion and five. So, um... Luckily, on my way here, I'm experienced enough to know that collecting saplings early on is a good idea. So I grabbed a bunch of different saplings, and I have a bunch more in the chest, but I'm just going to set up a couple of trees here to grow. So let's go like... Oh, someplace that makes sense here, like one... Just set up kind of a, a little beginning tree farm here. Chop this guy down while we are here, though. Because, well, quite frankly, I'm not going to have a ton of building materials. I mean, I'm so used to building out a Zai, and I really would prefer not to build everything out of cobble. So I'm going to do my best to get a ton of wood here. And wood's probably going to be our primary building tool for a very, very long time. Okay, so we got some saplings set up. And I hope you guys are as excited for the series as I am. Because low-tech Feed the Beast, I think, is going to be a really fun adventure. There's a lot of things I feel like get looked over in Feed the Beast, especially the forestry and thomcraft stuff. So it'll be exciting to take a swing at the forestry, uh, multi-farms, the thomcraft stuff. I mean, we did a lot of thomcraft research last time around, but we really didn't end up doing too much with it. We just kind of sat on all of our research. So this time we're going to go much deeper into that. We'll be doing bees, and I've been looking up a lot of extra bees stuff, and that looks to be a amazing mod. What the heck is this tree? 
I have never seen anything like this in my life. What the heck is that? Let's just dig this up really quickly and see what the heck we found. What is this? Rubber? They change what rubber looked like and feed the beast? Can I use this for things? You make a torch with rubber? Sticky piston? Rubber bar? Is there a sapling I can get for this? Huh. I wonder if the rubber sapling doesn't make logs. It makes jungle wood logs. That is interesting. Huh. I wonder what someone makes. Okay, let's look into this. Um. What does a rubber bar get you? Because I've never seen this tree in my life. Let's see here. Rubber bar makes you. Syringe. Conveyor belt. Okay, so this is like Mine Factory Reloaded stuff. Okay. Okay, so that's why I haven't seen this, is I didn't get um, into Mine Factory Reloaded that much. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like a bad source of jungle wood, which I enjoy, so I guess we'll collect it. I'm not sure how much I'll actually use the rubber, because I don't really think I'm going to use much Mine Factory Reloaded stuff in this playthrough as of now, but we'll see. Maybe get into a few machines here and there outside of the low-tech stuff, but uh, don't completely know yet. Yeah, I, I think the only thing I have around me for miles is oak trees. Okay, so apparently cave spiders spawn naturally in whatever biome this is, but uh, I kind of need to run for my life here and not die. Nope, 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 nope. Today is not the day in which I die. Oh wait, I have my iron sword on me. I haven't even used that thing yet. Okay, um... I'm totally lost. Oh wait, no, I think the village is... A yep, I see it over there. Okay. Take a quick break to munch on some bread. And we will get back to the village. Oh, yeah, I have to go around and collect all these beehives. Yes! Business is going to be goodness, indeed. I think I'm the only one on. Yep, time to sleep. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the episode here, and I want to do this one more time for the new series. Last round of voting was kind of inconclusive. I didn't find any clear winner. So we're going to go to a quick run-through of all of our texture patch options. Here we have option one, default. Here we have faithful for Feed the Beast. And here we are with our third option, Sfax. So feel free to go ahead and leave your choice of texture pack down in the description. And I thank you guys all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode when we continue our life as an Amish koala. See y'all next time. Toodles!